the purpose of this is for us to take this tool apart, put the tool back together, and just show you how uh, you can actually maintain the tool or how you can replace parts so that you don't have to uh, give the tool over for warranty. Warranties uh, are costly, and when you have parts that you can actually use to replace the existing parts, you can certainly save a lot of money and you save a lot of time for the customer because the customer doesn't have to leave the tool behind. This is a TC3 cutter, tubing cutter. This is a tubing cutter repair kit and in the tubing cutting repair kit there's a uh, part for every piece that has to go on uh, this cutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cutter apart using this uh, handy pin punch and a little ball peen hammer. It might be a little bit loud. So pin number one and don't lose any parts. Pin number one. Pin number two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the block and this block is the piece that keeps everything in place. Then we're going to take out the slide mechanism. The slide mechanism has a spring attached to it and the spring basically when you put this back in uh, we will reattach the spring and the tool will be as good as new. In order to put this back together you take it basically all you do is reverse the steps that you did when you were taking it apart. <clears throat> now it sounds a lot simpler than it really is, but you're going to put the slide in and put your block back in. And using our pin punch, we're going to line it up, take one of our pins, and tap it back in. Our lock nut, which basically controls the flow, now we're going to put this back in. And we're going to try and get that to line up. Now we'll put the other pin in. We'll put that one in from this side. Okay. Now we've got our assembly and this will rock back and forth real quite nicely but what we do need to do now is to make sure that we put our springs in so first spring not so difficult put it on the edge compress it push it in there's a spring that has to go from there to here to be able to um, uh, allow this to spring back and forth when you want it to so the trick would be to take just a, an ordinary paper clip and you make a tiny little tool out of it that's got a tiny little um, grab uh, end on it. What you do is you take your handy dandy little paper clip and you shove it up through that tiny little hole there. Right? The spring actually fits inside on the, you'll see that <clears throat> it's got a couple of little uh, clamps on one on each end. So this just basically goes in and clamps on to the uh, slide mechanism. And then you take your little paper clip and you put it on the other little clamp end and you give it a little tug. And if we did this right, it'll come right all the way up through. So you can see the spring on the back. So everything is now well connected, everything's working extremely well. Now all we need to do is put the cutting wheel back in. And again, the cutting wheel is just a, a, a pop in, pop out wheel or pin. Now we're gonna push this pin back in and the cutting wheel will be back in place. During maintenance or during repair, uh, if the pin happens to pop out and the wheel happens to fall off, don't worry about it. All you have to do is just put the pin and the wheel back in and everything will be just fine with the, your cutter once it's all finished. And there you go. Brand new cutter. <laughs>